Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today, talking holsters, this guy right here, by JX Tactical. JX Tactical makes a number of different holsters. This one is their standard in the waistband. This happens to be set up for appendix carry. Have the belt clip on here, as well as this claw. So, pretty easy on, pretty easy off, which is nice. Going in and out, as far as getting set up in the morning but pretty much throw this thing down over your belt and the claw, make sure it's behind your belt. It's gonna push kind of the grip into you, lower profile and there we go, set up. Same thing as far as taking this thing off when you are done for the day, easy off, pretty handy. They do make some other attachment methods though, which I'll show you real quick. Depending on lifestyle, kind of how you run, how you set up your stuff, you may want different options, they offer it. Right here are the pull the dot, basically these two tabs. You can unsnap them and loop them around your belt. Go ahead and snap them back, hold nice and secure. And same with ulti clip. They also have this as an option. Kind of between all of them, they absolutely all work. Personally, that belt clip, usually what I end up using, especially if you have a good rigid gun belt, it's just really easy to put on as well as take off. And once it's on there, it doesn't move. So usually what I default to. Which brings us to what has been my experience and use with this holster. Well, I've been wearing it and carrying it for a while now, carrying concealed daily. And I will say some of it comes down to just like body type and stuff like that. This for me, again, keeping in mind, full-size pistol, doesn't conceal super well, and part of it just, again, comes back to body type. I will say, definitely comfortable, and I do appreciate really easy to put on and take off versus holsters that you have to like weave through a belt or something along those lines especially if you're running it over off your side like strong side yeah like trying to fight belts doing all that stuff definitely on and off easy some other things that are just nice too is the way all of these holsters are is they're basically all cut for optics whether you run an optic or not more and more people are shooting optics more and more guns from the factory come with the option for optics so it's a thing and all their holsters are cut for them and also a channel for suppressor height sights whether you're going to run them or not it's pretty nice because if down the road you decide to get an optic and then maybe suppressor height sights to go with it you're already there also if you so choose you can actually adjust the retention on this holster depending on what you want as far as like really strong retention or if you don't want it super tight not really sure why you'd want that but right here the screw goes all the way through and there's basically a gasket in there so you can crank that thing down figure out what kind of retention you want as far as pistols and optics or sorry not optics lights there is a big list pretty well supported kind of most of your guns if you have something obscure or maybe a high point I'm not sure if you can get a holster for a high point or some other obscure pistol, but pretty much all your standard fare, yeah, they pretty much have it all covered. I've definitely put in some time with this on the range, usually carrying strong side and now messing around with some appendix. Again, kind of gone back and forth between the two for a number of years now. And there's a little bit of nuance with certain things as far as just even drawing out in a vehicle, things along those lines, but yeah. Definitely enjoyed putting in time with this on the range. I will say getting into winter, you definitely start fighting through a number of different layers. If you're in the market for a in the waistband holster, 
check these guys out. Pretty affordable, I wanna say about 60 bucks, and again, number of different options, whether it's obviously gun and or light, but then you run into different clips, same with this claw, and different colors, obviously left, right-handed, depending on what you're looking for too. About 60 bucks, there'll be links down below. If this does not work for you, they also actually have their fat guy holster, which as I understand it, the idea is to have it seat a little bit lower. So again, depending on body type, if you are working on your tactical calorie reserve, it'll basically sit lower and largely be out of the way of, well, your gut. So it'll in turn be more comfortable, but number of different options from JX Tactical. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or supporting me directly through Patreon. All that stuff helps me go out and create more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadge.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.